I'm kind of annoying myself. Oh shit, that's nice. What's up guys, KJ here again with another video for you and this time I'm actually not doing a tutorial. I am doing a IMATS haul. So IMATS is the International Makeup Art Trade Show. It is open to the public. It's also for pros. Um, a lot of people go. They have a bunch of makeup products that are discounted. So this is your chance to like go buy all the stuff that you normally have to buy like online and you can get them at a discounted price and not have to worry about shipping and not have to worry about waiting for them to get shipped to you. So um, I've been for the past three years in a row. I love it. It's addicting. I end up spending way too much money there. This year was the first time I went on Pro Day. IMATS is Friday through Sunday. Um, and Saturday, Sunday is open to public. Friday is strictly for pros. And it was so much less stressful. It was the best. It was like going to the mall on a weekday, midday, when everyone's at work and it's like empty. That's what it's like. But it's like huge, it's a convention center. It's, the Pas it's at the Pasadena Convention Center. Um, everyone's there. Dose of Colors is there. Um, Anastasia was there this year. Namie's, Nigel's, freaking Mac Pro, um, all the special effects makeup like Mayron, Cryolon. Or, well, you got Sigma, Sigma's huge. Uh, Morphe, Morphe is amazing. I think the only people that had a really long line was Anastasia, so they had a huge line. I wasn't waiting for that shit. Um, I had a blast, it was really fun, and um, I just wanted to show you guys what I got. So one of the places that I was really, really excited to go to was Hot Makeup USA. They debuted at IMATS this year, and um, their products are amazing. I was so excited because I saw their products all over Instagram, and I was like, I have to get something. That was the first booth we hit up, and when I say we, I meant me and my friend Victoria. She comes with me every year. She's such a trooper. She's fucking amazing. She comes all the way from the Bay to come with me every year. So shout out to Victoria, you're my rogue dog. I saw their eyeshadows on Instagram. Their eyeshadows you can use wet or dry. I just love the packaging. The packaging is really, really cute. Kind of packaging. It's really, really nice. Is this a little bit better for you guys? This is the outside packaging. I got two shadows and two liquid lipsticks. First shadow that I wanted to show you guys, it's called um, Country Girl. I freaking love these. They're so, so pretty. And the second one that I got was called Morocco. I actually have it on my eye right now. Brown, bronzy copper tone. So the top one is Morocco. The bottom one is Country Girl. When you use them wet, I used them wet a little bit in the corners, but dear God, they are pigmented. They're so amazing. They're really, really pretty. Um, and the two lips that I got were um, the liquid lipsticks. So the first one I got, I actually have on. Anyways, with the color that I have on, it's called Midnight. This is the packaging, if you can see. And I got another color called Join the Party. Midnight, and then the bottom one is Join the Party. So they're very high pigmentation. They go on really smooth. They obviously dry and matte. Okay, so the whole reason I got these was because I swatched them on the back of my hand. I walked around. I washed my hands. I had makeup wipes because I was swatching like shadows and stuff like that. This shit does not come off, I swear to you. I went on Friday, I still had that shit on my hand on Sunday. Um, last year I did not go to Sigma, but this year I had to freaking go because I really wanted the spa glove. Like I really wanted it. I feel like even when I wash my brushes, they're not fully washed. I feel like they have like still makeup or like product or whatever it is inside there. So I got one. You can make fun of me all you want. Say it's an oven mitt. I don't care, but my brushes are going to be clean. I got three lip, what are these called? Lip bases. And then I got three different lip switches. So these are called lip bases and they're like lip pencils. So these are the colors. So the first one, the pinky pink one, is called Euphoria. The deep tone is Rhapsody, and the last one, which is like a reddish pink, is called Mirth. Top one is Euphoria, middle one's Rhapsody, bottom one is Mirth. I like these, I think they're cool. I like lippies, something different. I don't really have like lip pencil lipsticks. These were the winners. These are called the lip switches, and these are lip glosses that kind of change your lip color. Oh my dear lord. Check these babies out. They're amazing. Um, this first one is Pink Lotus. Um, Transcend. I want to say it has more of like a purple undertone. 
Last one is otherworldly, which is like a um, more of a green undertone. Um, these things are amazing. Oh my god, they're amazing. I feel like you can put them over. Obviously, you can put them over any lip color. They're awesome. I had to stop by Grande Lash. If you don't know what Grande Lash is, it is like, um, you know, Latisse but it doesn't change your eye color and it wasn't originally made for people who had glaucoma because that's what Latisse was for. Or you get one for 40 or you can get three for 100. So my ass got three. Each tube lasts you, uh, it's a three month supply and you just put it on once a day. It totally made my eyelashes grow. Obviously these aren't it, but um, let's see what else. Duh, dose of colors, hello. They premiered their new color, which was called like Black Rose. I did not get one just because, like I said, I, I have a lot of dark, deep tones already. Like, I just feel like I didn't want to get another one. Even though I love Dose of Colors and they're awesome, I just didn't want to get another same color I have. However, I did pick up some lipsticks. Neutralies, neutral neutrals. So I got three lipsticks and to glosses and i'm not really big on glosses like actual glossy glosses but i wanted these because they looked really nice and they're really pretty and they're really pigmented and they smelled so good i wanted to eat them so i bought them i got undressed and petals and undressed is on is this one and then petals is this one bottom one is undressed and the top one is petals they smell really yummy too like i want to eat them i have this thing i'm a weirdo i want to eat MAC lipsticks. I love the way MAC lipstick smells. So every time I buy a new one, I like have to smell it like a fucking crackhead. Um, and then I also picked up three lipsticks. And of course, they are also in the neutral pastel category. I got Poise, Soft Touch, and then I also got Koi. Top one is Koi, middle one is Poise, and the bottom one is Soft Touch. So you can see those nice colors. And I really like Joseph Colors lipsticks because they're hydrating. Like they don't feel dry. I just I like I really like these. These are really really creamy. I saw that Joseph Colors also had highlights, and I was really excited that they had the color that I wanted. And these are baked highlighters. And the one that I got was called Peach Glow. And I really like their packaging. Their packaging is super cute. So it's clear. You can see through it. I have this highlight. The highlight on today. This shit. <sighs> So pretty. It kind of reminds me of the MAC packaging, but just like in white and a little bit, it's just clean. I feel like it just looks cleaner too. So I picked up one of those. Again, this is Peach Glow Baked Highlighter. Um, Morphe was the longest line that I stood in and I stood in line for like 10 minutes. So um, I love Morphe. Morphe Brushes is based in North Hollywood in Los Angeles. If I wanna to go to Morphe, it usually takes me about 40 minutes to get there, which sucks, super donkey balls butt crack but it's totally fine they were there stood in line for 10 minutes all gucci but um i went there and they of course had a bunch of their brushes they have all their brushes there the only brush they didn't have was the damn gunmetal brush that i wanted for my foundation i substituted it for another really good brush by them so it's the morphe s94 so it's just a flat brush nice nice and dense majority of my brushes are from morphe so there's like no shedding they're Cheap as shit. I think I paid six bucks for this brush. I mean, come on, come on. I also got a fan brush for my highlight, and this was from the Gunmetal Collection because I just love the way that they look. Oh, it's the G23. I just love, 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 love the Gunmetal. But in my last video, right here, I did Ashton's makeup and um, she had the Morphe blush palette, which is the 10D and I really wanted it. I liked it a lot. I don't have a lot of blushes, so I thought it was perfect because the palette was only like 15 bucks. So I picked it up and this is it. Ta -da! Maybe only the first two I can't really wear just because I feel like I can't wear super pink tones, but all the others from, from here to down, I mean, Eight out of 10 that I can wear for only 15 bucks. Yes, ma'am. And then I got some uh, a little brush kit for my mom. It comes in this cute brush holder thing. It came with seven brushes um, for her face. They're like, it's like a travel set, I think. Like I said, their brushes are steel. If you can, or if you're near them, or if you have the patience to go online and wait, 
then get yourself some Morphe brushes because I really, really like them. And 95% of the time, I'm using their brushes when I do my makeup. And about 98% of the time when I'm doing my makeup, I'm using one of their damn palettes. I also went to Namie's. Can't stress enough how much I love these eyelashes. So Flutter Lash Ink, they're awesome. One of their lashes I wear all the time, which is the style is called Judy, and they're just really, really pretty. They're long, but they still look natural and they blend well with your regular eyelashes. And the ones that I have on right now, um, I really like them. These ones are called Bell. And these are all mink lashes, so you can wear them up to, I think, like 30 times or something like that. And then I got um, another, or yeah, another pair of the Judy's. Mm, they're so pretty. I don't know why they say wedding lashes on the back. I got, um, these ones are called Serena. They're super flared out, and there's a lot more lashes on the end, so it gives it that little bit more like, bam, like a pop. So these are it. They're called Serena. Again, Serena. I was really jazzed because I went online and I tried to get the Makeup by Shayla eyelashes. They didn't have them, they were sold out. So I went and I got them. But these are just really, really full. Just like full lashes, so your definitely attention are on the eyes. So I've been a sugar, sugar pill fan for quite some time. I'm always scared to buy their eyeshadows though because I feel like I'm never gonna wear those colors because they're always so damn bright. But I didn't realize how amazingly beautiful and perfect and like fucking fluffy happiness their loose pigments are oh my god i wanted to buy all of them i should have bought all of them but i didn't i did however get three of them and i absolutely love them the first one i'll show you is the one that i actually have on my center of my lid and it's called goldilocks this is real life just so you know it's fucking beautiful Second one I got was Asylum. So this last color that I got was called Countess. Man, oh man. Look at those bad boys. Oh God, they're so pretty and they're just so bright and pigmented and they're just, I feel like the color payoff is so great because I used just a little bit and this shit is it's bright like you can definitely see it the next place i went to was obsessive compulsive cosmetics aka oh shui shui. but um i did pick up three of the lip tarm matte so the first one i got is strumpet and it's like a berry tone lament and this is more of a nude hush and it's like a nude pink so hush lament strumpet and the last place I went to um, was NYX. One of my goals this year was to get more individual shadows. So I got um, Own the Night, Sentiment, Fetish, Addiction, and Over the Top, Heat. Own the Night, Sentiment, and Fetish. Addiction, Over the Top, and Heat. So I also picked up another NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, which is just white. I got a cream lipstick from them. It's number 532. It's like a taupe color, which I really like. So that was what I got from IMAX for myself. Now I'm also doing a giveaway. I'm really excited. I'm extremely excited about this one because um, it was just stuff that I looked at and I was like, I would wear that shit. And then I bought it for you. And so I got Lament and Strumpet Lip Tars. Also the anti-feathered lip pencil. Sigma, I got you guys one of the lip bases and the lip switches. The lip base I got was Euphoria and then I got Otherworldly, which is lip switch. And from Dose of Colors, I got the Petals, Petals Lip Gloss, liquid lipstick in Bury Me. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. A little palette from NYX and it's called Love in Paris. And I like these ones because they were like the purple colors, it's like lavenders, purples, those cute colors in there. Next thing I'm throwing in the bag is, I actually didn't buy it at iMats, New Bonsom. Um, these are called the Persian Mink Eyelashes. They're more natural looking. These are them, these are what they look like. So these are actually gonna go in the bag with y'all too. Um, the last thing I got, it was sold out online. I think it still is sold out online, but they had them for sale at iMats and I specifically waited in the line for it. I got it for y'all. I ordered mine, mine's not in the mail yet, but I went for you guys. This is probably, I love this palette more than I love my 35N palette. They're seriously 
a perfect amount of mattes and shimmers and there's also just like an array of colors. So if you weren't able to make it to IMAX LA, I'm giving a little piece of IMAX LA to you guys. I'm sure you're wondering, hmm, how can I win all this awesome shit, Kay? Well, in fact, it's really fucking easy. You need to just head to my Instagram, go follow me. Follow me on Instagram. I post awesome stuff and really dumb stuff too, but it's awesome, awesomely dumb. Follow my Instagram, boop, 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 boop. Subscribe, subscribe to me, hello. If you're not already subscribed right now, I, what are you doing in life? What is life? What is life? What are you? Like this video and then comment saying that you did all three of those steps. Contest is open to everyone in the United States until January 31st. Good luck to everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked my haul. I hope you love everything that's in the giveaway. Um, I love you guys. You guys are awesome for listening to me talk and ramble and do stupid shit and create stuff on people's faces. So yes, I love you guys. Amazing. Um, I wish I could give you guys gift bags, all of you guys, but um, I'm not Mariah Carey, so I can't afford it. And until next time.